Hello, welcome to whatever I decided to call this. Today we're gonna to be cooking some grilled cheese and caramelized onion sandwiches. I'm gonna be using a panini presser for the very first time. I'm in my apartment and I'm probably gonna set off the fire alarms. Stick around for that. The first thing I'm gonna do is caramelize the onions and for that we're gonna to have to chop them up while my glasses fog. The first thing we're gonna need is a cutting board and then I'm gonna need a knife. Now let's get the onions. Well, I've already prepared the onions last night. I've peeled them, gotten them all nice and ready to go. The very first thing I'm going to do is cut them all in half. We're just gonna take this and cut it down the side. The thinner I cut these, the faster they're gonna cook. Now I do need something to chuck these all into because they're gonna take up some space. For this, I just have a somewhat deep frying pan. I'm definitely gonna need to chop these up more and I'm probably gonna need a bigger container for them to cook in. I got them all into this pot. This is just some cheap aluminum pot I got from Walmart. It's meant for camping. Hopefully it'll do the job. Now to this, I'm gonna add roughly two cups of canola oil. Actually, let's make that three. We're gonna need to stir this with something, so you better grab a wooden spoon or a heat resistant spatula of some kind. And we're gonna put this, well, we're gonna turn the fan on. Let's get loud. We're gonna put this on, I don't know, high heat. This is probably a very bad idea. It's kind of looking like we probably should have stuck with the two cups. Three cups might have been a little bit too much. And we're gonna have to keep stirring this so these don't burn. I think I'm stirring these too much because they're not even getting hot on the top. So I'm just gonna leave it alone for a little bit. I'm super afraid this is gonna burn because we don't have steel wool to clean this out. I'm gonna put a lid on this and go do something else for a little bit. Like live stream on Twitch where I've been for the last three months. You should totally give me a follow. I'm trying to get affiliated. A link in the description and probably plaster it all over my channel if you click on it. Hi. So yeah, definitely before these are done, I'm gonna have to drain some of this oil out. I really should have stuck to only two cups, maybe even one and a half, because these are gonna cook down and this is gonna be a lot of oil left. Yeah, I'm actually gonna need to get some of that oil out now. I'm thinking I'm either gonna have to spoon it out or put a towel in there and soak it out. I think that towel would be going in the trash. So I got this container, but I actually do have a somewhat of a ladle. I'm gonna be able to get that oil out nice and easy. Here we go, let's get that oil out of there. Definitely not gonna burn ourselves, and we're not gonna make a huge oil mess because that's hard to clean up. Oil does not clean up well. Let's get all the oil on one side. Get all this oil on, on one side here. There we go. We're just gonna scoop some of that out. Nice and easy, like a soup. Look at that. Nice and easy. It's not even that hot yet. We're gonna end up taking some of the onions out, but that's fine. It's Better than having all that oil in there. <laughs> it kind of looks like lemonade or pee pee. Yeah, that's, that's enough. Cool. It didn't take too much. Just maybe a cup. And now I'm gonna keep letting this cook. Some of these are really starting to turn the color that we're after now. We really want this nice brown color that's right here. Right there, it's on the side here. That's what we're after. Basically burned, but not completely. So we're about 20 minutes into these cooking now. They're starting to brown up. They're getting a little golden. They're not quite there yet. It's really stinking up the entire house though. See, we're really getting some brown in there. But we want all of them to be like that, not just some spots. We're getting closer. I'm gonna be adding about a cup's worth of pure cane sugar into there. One cup of sugar. Let's toss that cup of sugar in there. That's getting real gooey. Once they've browned up a little bit more, I'm gonna dump probably just a cup of water in there. That's to get all the burnt stuff 
off the sides to mix in with the onions. And it really makes them taste better. Surprisingly, the burnt stuff makes them taste better. We're gonna have to give them some time though because the cup of sugar really killed the temperature and everything's cold in there now. Oh, and I forgot to mention, between stirs I did take more oil out. It's probably about a cup, maybe a cup and a half that I've taken out at this point. Once this has cooked for maybe about like 10 more minutes, I think, I'm gonna drain more of the oil out. And then we're gonna dump the cup of water in there, and let that stir around in there for a bit. Not gonna be done. Probably gonna drain them through a strainer because there's a lot of liquid going on. So I'm a little afraid to dump cold water into boiling oil. So we're gonna try and do it a little bit at a time. Well, here we go. Here comes a little bit of the water. That's not bad. That's fine. Now we're just gonna stir that up a bit. And that's gonna get all the burnt stuff off the bottom. And that gives it a real nice burnt flavor. It's been about four minutes and I started to smell something burning. But they look good. They look really good. I think these are done. I think those are pretty good. Here's where the hard parts kind of come in. This is the only strainer I have. It's very small. I'm gonna have to scoop that into here. And hope I don't make an enormous mess. I didn't really think of what I was gonna do with the onions once I drained them. I need another container. That'll probably fit. It'll probably fit. Sure. Why not? It'll fit. On to the grilled cheese portion of this video. So the directions on this panini press say I'm supposed to oil both sides before I use it. But uh, I got two choices of bread over here. Regular white bread or sourdough. I think it'll be pretty good on a sourdough. Also, this is already open. What? I wanna make this first one on sourdough. I need to butter this. I actually can't remember the last time I had sourdough bread. So I'm gonna try a piece. I don't really remember what it tastes like. Oh, it's sour. It's sour bread. So I don't have much real estate to go with on these things. They're not terribly big. It's smaller than my hand. I think the white bread's bigger, but these are definitely gonna taste better for sandwiches. Here's what we're working with. It's not plugged in and it's not greased yet. I gotta grease it, which means that fan's coming back on. But first, we gotta prep the sandwich before it can go on the grill. For the sandwich, we're gonna be using the onions that we just made, the seasoning that I've whipped up. It's a combination of paprika, black pepper, kosher salt, powdered mustard, and garlic powder. It's really strong. Oh, and two different kinds of steak spice. Kingsford and grill mates. We're also going to be using American cheese. Not because I like it, but because I accidentally bought a ton of it. And you know, we're trying to get rid of it. First thing I'm going to do is slather on those onions. Like so. It's like a peanut butter and jelly. We're gonna sprinkle just a little pinch of the spice on there. We don't want too much because it's very powerful stuff. That's probably too much. We're gonna take the onions, put them on the other side. No spice on this one though, because it's too strong. It'll overpower the onions, and we don't want that. And now, we're gonna put on the cheese. I don't really know how much is gonna be too much. I'm gonna cut them in half. I think three pieces will be fine, something like that. And then we're gonna flip it over. I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna make one more with the white bread. Hold on, I left my sourdough out. It's getting stale. See, the white bread's a little bit bigger. It's almost as big as my hand. Actually, on these ones, it's a little bit easier to put the cheese on. You can just slap two pieces of cheese on there. Call it a day. Now we are gonna butter these. Of course I'm gonna butter these babies. I'll have to take them over there though. Fridge is on the other side of the kitchen. So I just tossed two little cubes of butter in the microwave for 30 seconds and now we butter. We are making grilled cheese. Now that these are sufficiently dripping in butter, we're gonna heat up the panini press and hopefully I grease it properly. How on earth am I gonna properly grease this? It says not to use a non-stick spray. It's supposed to use olive oil. I am just putting a little bit on a plate. 
And with this brush, I'm just gonna lightly grease it. I'm only doing it where we're gonna be cooking the sandwich, which is in the center. I think I'm only doing one at a time. We need a little bit more oil. It's time to plug this baby in and probably set off my smoke detector. We'll find out. Moment of truth. And it did say it's going to smoke the first time you use it. We're waiting on this little green light right here. The oil's starting to drip off as if it's getting hot. It definitely feels like it's getting hot. Oh boy, I think I was only supposed to grease the bottom. Oh well, it's gonna be one greasy sandwich. The green light's on, it's time to go. I got my little tongs here, putting the sandwich on, and now we smash with the top. And now we wait, because I don't know what to do with it. I, I don't know uh, how long I'm supposed to cook this. That smells so good. I'm getting a plate. I'm excited. Forgot to put away my cheese. I'm gonna take a peek. Oh, that looks awesome. The cheese isn't melted though. Longer. Oh, the whole house smells like sourdough. It's great. I love it. That's looking good. I think, I think it's done. Now, how do I get this off of here? <laughs> I got me a spatula. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good. The next one. Time for the white bread. Will the white bread one turn out as good as that? Probably. I don't see why it wouldn't. Oh, you see it bubbling? Oh yeah. That's the stuff. I think that's ready. I'm gonna set that back up. I think I just stabbed into the sandwich. Quit smoking. You can stop smoking now. Stop. There they are. It's time to cut into this. Get a cross section. Oh, it's nice and crunchy. And there we are. Cheese and onion. Nice and grilled. That's the sourdough one. Let's get the white bread. Oh yeah. I can't wait to dip this in ketchup and piss everyone off. I'm going for the sourdough one first. Get a nice crispy part. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. You can really taste the onion. Probably because I put so much of it on there. I am going to try it with ketchup. Just because I kind of like grilled cheese with ketchup. A lot of people hate it. I kind of like it. The ketchup might be a little too too powerful. Takes away from the onion. First bite of the white bread. Oh, they're both so good. I'm going to finish this video and then I'm going to finish eating that. Thank you for watching. I have a big mess to clean up. I didn't follow any recipe there. Thank you guys for getting me to 400 subs. I know I'm a little late on this video. I think I'm at like 4, 430 by now. But thank you guys. I'll probably do more cooking videos in the future. I had a lot of fun. And I'm so excited to go eat that. You have a good one. And I'll see you around. Bye.